Hey everyone, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today we're gonna to be walking through some example sketches. I'm gonna show you how to program your assembly hardware, and we're also gonna take a little look at the iOS app. Now in front of me, I have the RFD 77803 assembly development kit. I also have a uh, standard breadboard and this iPod Touch. Let's dive in. So the first thing we need to do is unpack part of our kit. We're gonna be using the AAA battery shield, the USB shield, the RGB LED and dual button shield, as well as our chips, 29 GPIO breakout and our 7 GPIO. You can set the rest aside. To program our assembly, we're gonna be using the USB shield. It has a seven pin header and a five pin header. You'll take this seven pin GPIO and fit that into the corresponding headers. You need to make sure these line up. You shouldn't have to force it. Now go ahead and add the RGB LED and two button shield on top of that. That right there is ready to be programmed. Go ahead and open the Arduino IDE. Your next step is to make sure that you have your board selected. Go to the tools menu, down to board, and all the way at the bottom, select assembly. Go back to that tools menu, and under port, make sure you have the active port selected. Go to file, examples, assembly non-BLE, basics, and open the blink sketch. This is a pre-built sketch that's gonna blink the RGB LED on the top shield. So let's go ahead and upload this sketch. Hit the upload button, and in a few seconds, your assembly should be blinking. Let's change this up a little bit. Change the LED green variable to a two and upload that sketch again. You should see a red blinking light now. A four, makes a blue blinking light. It's that simple. At this point, we can power our sketch without the PC. Go ahead and unplug your assembly from your computer and detach the USB shield. We're going to be using the AAA battery shield. Plug your device in there, making sure the pins are lined up. You can now add two AAA batteries Put the small switch on the side and you're externally powered. For our final example, we're going to use the 29 GPIO breakout board, this breadboard, and the USB shield again. Go ahead and add your 29 GPIO to your breadboard. It'll take a little bit to push it in there, be careful. Go ahead and plug your USB shield into the top of the 29 GPIO breakout. Once connected to your computer, you should see the small light on the USB shield light up. In your Arduino IDE, go to File, Examples, scroll down to Simply for Mobile, and select the temperature sketch. Make sure to check Tools and have the correct COM port selected for your assembly device. Verify and compile the sketch and upload it to your assembly. Now let's go to our iPod. Open the assembly app and you should see your assembly advertised there. Clicking that listing will show you the current temperature as read by your assembly. Let's switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Back in the Arduino IDE, scroll down to the void loop function. You'll see a float variable here. Change Celsius to read Fahrenheit. Keep scrolling down to the void UI function. Change this C to be an F. Recompile, upload, and moments later your assembly will be reading in Fahrenheit. You can find more documentation at simply.com.